The Freak Athlete Hyper Pro is an upgrade to and replacement for the Nordic Hyper GHD. With this revision, they abandoned the Nordic Hyper GHD naming in favor of the shorter and much catchier Hyper Pro. In this review, we're going to cover the functions of this machine, the changes that have been made from the Nordic Hyper GHD, the price, should you buy the Hyper Pro, and if you already own the Nordic Hyper GHD, should you upgrade to the Hyper Pro. But before we get into the video, hi, my name is Ryan Trey away founder of treadawaytraining.com where we help busy parents transform their bodies if you want to work with me and my team to transform your body click the link down in the description and if you want the link to purchase this piece of equipment that link is also down in the description if you purchase this with my link i do make a small commission that does not increase the price you pay just helps out the channel and huge thank you to freak athlete for sending me this early so that i could have this video up on release day the Hyper Pro is five machines in one. It's a Nordic bench, back extension machine, hip thrust bench, sit up bench, and reverse hyper. This is the first distinction. The old Nordic Hyper GHD is a six in one machine. It does all of the aforementioned functions, plus is a GHD, hence the title. They didn't do away with the GHD functionality. In fact, it's quite improved. The only difference is the GHD pad which I have right here, is sold separately now. The reason why it's sold separately is, I assume, for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is probably because the GHD pad has been so significantly upgraded. I'm sure the manufacturing cost for the attachment went up probably 5X or maybe more, so they can't just throw it in for free anymore. So it's kind of a double-edged sword because this attachment is legitimately amazing, but nice things cost more money. The other reason why it's sold separately now is actually a pretty cool reason. They designed this so that it retrofits onto the existing Nordic Hyper GHD as well. So if you already own the Nordic Hyper GHD, you can buy just this attachment and add it onto the machine that you already have. The old GHD pad was just okay. It was good enough that I definitely did not feel the need to go out and drop a grand on a dedicated GHD, but it for sure was not on the same level as a dedicated GHD. The new attachment, on the other hand, is almost as good as a dedicated GHD. Seriously. The new attachment is immaculate. There is a slight sideways flexing when you're getting on and off the machine from the side, but when actually using a GHD, all the motion is from front to back, so I really don't feel any of that side-to-side -side motion when in use. The next function, which used to be in the name, is a Nordic Curl Bench. It inclines for regressed Nordic Curls. If you're a beginner to Nordic Curls, the Hyper Pro inclines all the way up to 45 degrees for regressed Nordic curls and adjusts all the way down to five degrees in five degree increments. And of course, there's a flat option as well for true Nordic curls. And if you truly are a freak athlete, which I'm not, you can even do declined Nordic curls. The Nordic pad and upholstery, as well as the back extension and leg roller pads and upholstery are upgraded in the Hyper Pro, but I definitely wouldn't say that this by itself is a reason to upgrade. The next function, which is personally what I use this machine for the most, is 45 degree back extensions. It does exactly what you'd expect from 45 degree back extension bench and does a good job of it. I had a commercial 45 degree back extension and actually sold it because this did just as good of a job plus all the other features that come along with it the next function is the hip thrust the hip thrust function was good before and it's good now the mounting mechanism is a bit beefier now than before this function feels great for hip thrusts and Copenhagen holds, and it feels good for Bulgarian split squats. Since the pad is fixed, it doesn't feel quite the same as an actual leg roller that will roll, but it feels pretty close and definitely feels leaps and bounds better than putting your rear foot up on a flat bench to do Bulgarian split squat. The next function is a sit-up bench. And again, it serves this purpose just fine. It's not as good as a dedicated 
full decline setup bench, but it's close enough that I actually had one before and sold it because this machine does a good enough job that the other bench just kind of felt redundant. And the final function for the base Hyper Pro, yes, I said base Hyper Pro because there's more to this machine than just what's on screen, is the reverse Hyper. And I said this in my review for the Nordic Hyper GHD, and I'll say the same thing here. It does an okay job at this, but you can't do true reverse hypers on this machine if you're any considerable height at all. The only way you can do it is if you take the foot end of the bench, let it down a couple of notches, and then if you do that, it will give you the clearance to do reverse hypers on this machine. And I'm kind of nitpicking there, but I feel it's important to point out since it's not a true reverse hyper. You can use the GHD pad to get your legs higher off the ground and provide a little bit of extra clearance, but at six feet tall, my feet still barely hit the frame if doing it this way. So the easiest way to fix this is to take the foot end of the bench, let it down a few notches, and it works just fine. But while this is technically a five-in-one machine, there are a lot of additional exercises that you can do on this machine. I've already named a couple throughout the video so far. And another few that I have used this machine for pretty extensively is reverse Nordic curls, leg raises, dead hang curls, preacher curls, QL raises, and several more. Those are just the ones that come to the top of my mind right now. And remember my comment about the base machine a moment ago? There's also the leg developer attachment, which is a whole other beast by itself. There was already a leg developer attachment before that went along with the Nordic Hyper GHD, but this one has been redesigned from the ground up. Honestly, I did test the leg developer before for the Nordic Hyper GHD and it was good not great. It was great if you don't have access to a leg extension leg curl machine but this actually is really nice. One of the big things is the way that it attaches to the machine. It's just a lot quicker now. And so before you had to take the weight horns off the front, slide it on and then screw those back on. It took like 30 seconds and so now once you have it adjusted down to the place that it needs to be, which is 20 degrees and 20 degrees for leg extensions. So now all you have to do is pick this thing up, slide it on and pull this red handle down. Flip this dude down at the top, slide this little ring over, and then give this little handle and the back extension of pad a good push at the same time, and then it's locked into place. So when I've actually done it without demonstrating, I've just put it on to use it, it literally took me five seconds and I was ready to do leg extensions leg curls. So can't really beat that. Another subtle change that has made an absolutely monumental difference is the angle that the weight hangs off the front of the leg developer attachment. Before it was raised up so much that there was a lot of tension at the bottom of the movement, but once you got to the top of the movement, it basically lost tension. But now they've changed the angle such that you don't lose tension at any point during the exercise. I talked to one of the co-owners and he told me that they went one millimeter by one millimeter changing the angle for the weight hanging off the front. And I don't remember how many revisions he said they went through, but I wanna say it was like 30 revisions or something like that to get that angle just perfect, to get that nice even curve of weight so that you're not losing tension at any point in the exercise. And this leg developer attachment feels significantly better than something like the Titan Fitness leg extension leg curl that I've reviewed on the channel previously that machine completely loses tension at the bottom of the movement. 
Another really cool feature that was changed from the V1 to the V2 is something that you already saw when I was putting it on. This little handle that flips down right here holds the two pieces of this machine together very stably. Before, when you were doing heavy leg extensions, there was a lot of flexing since this was just a vertical column with no other support, and you could really feel it pulling away from the machine with heavier weight. Whereas now, you flip this down and then pull this piece through, and then you give it that nice little and then it's locked together and it's incapable of separating and it holds the machine together. And honestly, it's a pretty clever design. And another small but nifty feature is underneath the Olympic weight sleeve, you take a bolt off, you slide that sleeve off and there's a one inch weight sleeve underneath for if you're using standard plates. Only thing that I'm not an absolute 100% fan of for the leg developer is the handles that they used. I like them in the sense that they thought to even include these to start with because if you don't have long arms it's hard to reach these handles but the way they work is they just slot in and they just kind of stay by friction. They do the job just fine. I just wish that there was some sort of locking mechanism of some kind. And that said, I have these really long 6'4 gangly monkey arms, and so I will probably never use these. I'll just reach down and grab the lower handles. But wait, there's more. In addition to the leg developer, you can get an upper body accessory kit to go along with the leg developer, which comes with this little eyelet right here that you can attach. Comes with this extension strap, as well as this carabiner and these two straps, which first of all, these straps are pretty cool. You may have seen straps like these before, but I honestly had never used straps like these until I got them as a part of this pack package for review, but they just Velcro together and you can make them whatever length you want. So you can make them all the way out to here and then all you do is take this Velcro, Velcro it down to here and then the handle's this long. Need it to be shorter than that, take this Velcro, attach it down to this Velcro and then now it's this long. <laughs> and then if you need it to be shorter than that, you take that Velcro, attach it down to that Velcro and then you have roughly the length of a standard cable handle, maybe a little bit longer than most, but pretty close to a typical cable handle. And so then you can take your two handles, clip them on this little carabiner, clip them to the leg developer and you can do some pseudo cable exercises. So you can use this thing for stuff like pseudo preacher curls is what I'm calling them. Um, you can do seated rows as well as a standing row variation. You can do face pulls, wood chops, skull crushers, and those are just a few exercises that I've come up with so far. Now, let me say this is by no means equivalent to a cable machine, but if you don't have access to a cable machine in your home gym, it does feel surprisingly smooth. It feels smoother than I thought it was gonna feel, and it does an okay job of mimicking cable exercises for only 30 more bucks. And then a few other miscellaneous upgrades. On the Nordic Hyper GHD, there were two weight sleeves on the front of the machine and then a weight sleeve coming off the back of the machine so that you could add plates to it and weight it down for extra stability. There's now no longer any need to add weight to this machine. According to Freak Athlete, the machine is now so stable that there's no need to ever have to weigh it down. And from my limited testing so far, I believe them. A lot of the increased stability comes from the extended length of the base of the machine. At 62 inches long, the Hyper Pro's base is six inches longer than the Nordic Hyper GHD. Interestingly though, because the rear weight sleeve was replaced with a folding vertical storage, foot, the overall length of the Hyper Pro when in use at the longest setting is actually 1.25 inches shorter than the Nordic Hyper GHD at 67.25 inches versus 68 inches. There are also a lot more adjustment points on the back leg. 
The Nordic Hyper GHD had three adjustments, whereas the Hyper Pro has seven. A cool returning feature that I just wanted to point out are the side steps that fold out of the way when you aren't using them. And another small upgrade that just shows attention to detail and that they're listening and they're taking feedback is the handles on the foot plate are now knurled. Final small change I think is pretty cool is there are two QR codes on the foot plate. One takes you to their training library with exercise tutorials using the Hyper Pro, and the other takes you to a library walking you through how to use the Hyper Pro for the first time. And the QR codes are on durable stickers, so they are intended to be left there if you want to leave them there so that you can use them going forward, or you can remove them if you don't like the way they look because they are just stickers. And then there's the price. The price for the Hyper Pro by itself is going to be $1,099, but is going to be on sale at the time that the product goes live as a kickoff for $799. So it is $100 more than the previous Nordic Hyper GHD. The leg developer attachment is going to be $350 if purchased by itself, and it's going to be $300 if you bundle it together with the Hyper Pro. And if you want to get the upper body kit, as I've already mentioned, that's an additional 30 bucks. And then for the upgraded GHD, attachment it's going to be $200 if you buy it separately and $150 if you bundle it together with the Hyper Pro. And if you already own the Nordic Hyper GHD, you can buy the Pro Upgrade Kit for $250 that will get you the new GHD attachment, the upgraded padding, and the rear base. The old Nordic Hyper GHD was already one of the favorite pieces of equipment that I own, and the Hyper Pro is even better than that. So if you don't already own one of these, then you should go buy the Hyper Pro if you have the cash lying around. Behind something like a barbell or dumbbells or a cable machine, this is probably the next most versatile thing that you could buy to go in your home gym. Now, if you already own the Nordic Hyper GHD, I personally would not go out and buy the Hyper Pro. I would just buy the upgrade kit because it's gonna get you 90% of the upgrades in that upgrade kit for about 20% of the price. As for the leg developer, it works really well for what it is. If you don't already have a leg extension leg curl machine, I would definitely recommend picking this up. And in fact, if you do own one, but it's one like the Titan Fitness leg extension leg curl, I would probably sell that and get this instead. Plus, you have the option of adding the upper body kit for just a few extra bucks, which will give you some extra versatility if you don't have access to a cable machine. But those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment. And if you do wanna check out this machine, you can click the link down in the description. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you next time. With this revision, they abandoned the... No with this revision, they... With this revision, they abandoned the ah. With this revision, they abandoned the Nordic Hyper GHD naming in favor of the shorter and much catchier Hyper Pro. We'll just leave it there.